Welcome to the Build My Sports Biz Show, where we talk about how to create, build, and scale your own local sports training business. Let's go! It's time to get started with your host, Ben Neighbors. The show starts right now. Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the podcast. Today's episode, we will be diving deep into starting a newsletter for your business. And again, just like most podcasts that I put out, there's going going to be actionable steps. So if you have a pen, piece of paper, um, we will go through this piece by piece. And then on the back end of this podcast, if you are interested in like really taking emails to the next level and you want to have that as a system, I have a full course. It's called the Social Media Blueprint. It's not advertised on my website. Um, And if you want access to that, um, shoot me an email or shoot me a message on Instagram and I can show you how to get that. Um, That is a extremely in-depth course. But in today's podcast, I just want to give you an overview of email marketing, why you need to be doing it and how to set it up. All right, so the first thing we wanna dive deep into is why should you be sending emails? All right, why the heck do you need to be doing this? And what will happen if you don't, okay? So why do you need to be doing this? Well, the first reason why is because with parents, they're they're very busy. Like We have to just put ourselves in the shoes of, of parents. When they wake up in the morning, they have to take care of their kids. Um, they have to drive their kids to school. They have to um, go to work. They have to make dinner. They have to do whatever they have to do throughout the day. They're super busy. And if you think about it, parents are not going to be thinking about you at all during the day. I mean, let, let's just face it. They have more important things to do other than think about you and your business and trying to tell other parents about what you're doing. And so knowing that, we have to get our message in front of them as much as humanly possible. So this way, they actually do start thinking about what you offer, and they do start thinking about referring you to their friends. And the way that we do that is by sending emails. And I'm not talking about logging into Gmail and sending out a a one email to one parent. I'm talking about creating an email list and sending one email, and that one email gets sent to everyone. And a good example, if you look at my Build My Sports Biz emails I send out, that's a daily newsletter that I send to coaches, right? So that goes out every day. That's like, a for me, a non-negotiable thing. Um, I don't care what's going on that day. The email will be sent. Um, And I had, let's see here, between 2009... Okay, 2009 to 2000, I'd say the later part of 2016, with my emails for Neighbor Soccer Academy, which is my uh, soccer training business, I sent, I think on average, four emails per week, right? That is a lot, right? I I don't even want to break down the numbers, how many emails that is total. Um, And then for another company that I have, Online Soccer Skills, I had a daily newsletter and I did that daily newsletter for three years, um, three years straight, like never missed a day. And then now with build my sports biz, I have a daily newsletter. So if, if you put all the numbers together, I've done thousands of these things and I can tell you from experience that starting them is very difficult. Um, especially if you're like me, if you, aren't good at writing, if you are worried about what people are going to think of you, like starting is very difficult. But why, again, why should you do it? Well, it's so you can get the parents in your area to be thinking about what you are doing and be like learning more about your program and they can be consuming your ideas and your thoughts. That's all ultimately what you want. You want others to consume your ideas and your thoughts. And again, what that does is it influences their decisions. When they think about signing up for a camp, like they're probably going to want to sign up for your camp. If they're thinking about signing up for private training 
Well, if you're marketing hard to them all the time, they're going to know more about you than anyone else in your city. And they're going to think that you're the only option. And that's what you need to do. And in my email newsletters, I've, I've always talked about creating the category of one in your, in your city. And I can 100% guarantee you there's no one in your city. And if, if I'm wrong on this, send me a link to your competitor's website if they send a daily newsletter. Um, and I'll give you 100 bucks. I'll give you 100 bucks if you can find someone who, who does what I'm talking about, right? But no one in your city is going to be sending a newsletter on, on a regular basis. They might do it once a month or maybe once a week. But I'm talking about marketing hard. And really, the harder you market yourself to these parents, the more response you're going to get and the more customers you get, right? And if you think about it, there's so much information you have that you can draw from as a coach, as a player in whatever sport that you're coaching, uh, as a kid when you're in high school, like any adversity you've ever faced, any success you've ever gotten, like all of that can be combined into your newsletter where really what you're doing is ultimately you're branding yourself, okay? So why should you be doing these things? Number one, it's to separate yourself from any other person who tries to do um, training within your sport in your city, right? Number two, it's to get attention from parents so they can start like trusting you more. They know, like, and trust you more when they hear more from you and about you and, and, and what your program is about and how you can help them, right? And lastly, like by doing this, it ultimately gives you, I, I just call it poles in the water. Like you you always have a pole in the water that has bait that parents can <laughs> choose to latch onto. And that happens when you're out of the field. That happens when you're eating dinner. Like parents can consume your message whenever it is that you send out the messages. And the more you do that, it will affect your business. You will make more money. You will have more clients. And um, again, it, you'll be able to create something that works for you when you're not working. And that's the ultimate goal with the newsletter, all right? And now let's talk about how to set it up, okay? And I've gotten questions from coaches. They're like, well, I don't want to pay money for that. If you don't want to pay for it, like that's telling me that you don't want more clients. And what's, I mean, let, let's just break down the numbers. Um, an email service that I used to use in the past was $20 a month. All right, so I take $20 a month times 12. That's uh, $240. <clears throat> $240 um, per year. I think that's right. I, I could be way off. All right. That means that if I have one camp and it's, let's say it's $20, it's a $20 camp and I can get 12 kids there. Like if I could do that one time throughout the year, it would pay for the entire email service. All right. That's ridiculous. <laughs> it, it, like th those numbers are so easy to, to get to, but that only happens when you send out newsletters all the time. And most coaches that I help, they run multiple clinics per month. Like they'll do thousands of dollars per month. And so if you're not willing to spend $20 a month writing emails, that's fine. I'm going to show you a great free resource to use. It's called MailChimp.com. M-A-I-L Chimp.com. It's free. So like there's no excuses. If, if you think it costs money, just go get a free account with MailChimp. And um, from there, you can upload your contacts. And right there, like once you start sending your newsletter, you already have people on it. I started my contact list with three people. It was my uh, two brothers and it was me. I, I had a, a alternative email account. So I had three people and none of those people were customers. <laughs> and so like for me, like just the, act the action of, of setting it up right is key because if you don't set it up nothing's going to happen so just go get a free account with mailchimp um, if you have more than 500 contacts you have to start paying for it but if you have more than 500 contacts you should be paying for it like that's telling me you can send one email to 500 people um, and if you're doing anything the way i teach with like high-end private training or like automating your camps and clinics you're going to want 
to have email set up um, and you should be willing to pay for it. Like for me personally, I, w I would, if I had to, I would be willing to pay thousands of dollars per year just to send emails. Um, fortunately for me, the system I use is very affordable um, and uh, it's not that costly at all. Um, so I'm getting a great deal with it. Okay. But we have to think about, you know, setting it up first. Okay. Don't think about the content. Don't think about what you're going to say. Get it set up first. Like, actually do that. And then step two is we want to think about, well, what is the frequency? Like, how often are you going to send emails? And the easiest way to do this is, is don't think, well, I need to write my first one and just get it out there. That's the worst way to think because if you do that, you're going to overanalyze that first one. It's going to take you hours and hours to do and you probably won't send it to parents what you need to do instead is you need to have a yearly goal and when I say yearly goal yes that means you are going to commit to doing this for 12 months it's not a short-term thing like I've never told coaches in the past just send an email and and do that one time and after you do that you'll never have to do it again like this is an ongoing process and so you set a yearly goal and I'll give you a good example of, of I would think it'd be, this would be a good starting point for you if you have never done this. The way I like to do that is you break down the year by weeks. And a good starting point for most coaches, and you could set this as a yearly goal, and then you could obviously have more emails that you send, but a good yearly goal is sending two per week, all right? So take 52 weeks, all right, times two okay there's two that are going out every week um that's your goal all right make that your goal and when you do that then you can break it down per month and this is a very simple and easy way to do it but here's how i would recommend okay every month you have a set day and you have a day where there's no distractions they're like it could be a saturday or it could be on a Monday, it depends if you work full time or not. Um, and you have a day, and that day your phone is off. You disconnect your internet. You literally pull out your computer. I think I'm gonna show you two ways to do this, but you can pull out your computer and you write eight emails. That means that all the emails for that month are finished, right? And then from there, you can go schedule those on MailChimp. So all of your emails are finished. All of your marketing is done for those emails, right? You get it done in one day. You don't wake up on Monday, write one email, wake up on Thursday, write one email. That That is not going to work. Um, and just to give you some insight, like every email that I've sent over the last, especially over the last three years, every single email has never been done on the day it gets sent out. Like that, that's a rule I have. I get it done way before then. And this way I can actually create time throughout the week where I'm not focusing on that. I'm focusing on other things that are probably more important, okay? And so, again, you want to have one day. You carve out time, however long it takes you to write eight emails. You write those, you schedule them, and then they go out. And then the next month, you have the same day. Like You figure out, all right, this is the day I'm going to do all the emails. So this way you're always a month ahead. And by doing that, You'll never fall behind and you'll always have the emails go out. And that's a good thing. You can schedule these emails to go out whenever you want, right? And that's one way of doing it. And I did that way for years. The other way that I currently do it is I take my iPhone, I go to the notes tab and I w go outside and I plug my headphones in to the notes tab and I start talking and in the notes tab, it will transcribe what I'm saying and it will transcribe it into text. So I can literally like just be talking and I can be saying out loud what the newsletter is. And I do that because personally, I don't like to type. Um, typing takes longer. It, for me, when I overanalyze when I type. And when I'm talking, it's just coming out of my mouth the same way I'm talking right now. I, and really, to be honest, it's more in my voice when I'm talking just because that's just how I normally talk anyways, okay? 
And that's, that's a problem I see a lot of coaches have is when they're typing, they're not using the same personality as they normally would when they talk, you know, in a normal conversation. And you do want to, like, in your, <laughs> in your emails, you want to come off. I, I think you want to come off very casual. You want to come off just like it's they're, you're talking to them in real life. Um, that's how I like to do it. Not everyone agrees with that, but I think that's a, a great way to do it because you're authentic that way, right? But really what I do is I go outside, I plug in my headphones, I go to the notes app, I start talking, and I can write an entire email in 30 seconds because I'm just talking. And then I can go to the next one. And I can go to the next one. And with that process, I can, in one, I don't know, in probably, I would say two hours, I can write 20 to 30 of those just because I'm talking it out loud. And then from there, I can uh, email that to myself and then I can go plug it into my autoresponder that I use and then they get scheduled and then I'm done with it. And that's how easy it can be. But what I, where I see coaches slip up with this is they will get distracted. They won't, they won't get the job done. They'll, they might do one or two and then like the next week they're trying to do one or two again. I'm telling you, it doesn't work that way. I've yet, I've never seen anyone succeed with sending emails and having that set up as a system when they do it the week of or the day of. So you want to get it done, schedule it out, and let it go out, and then have a set day where you do it again, right? So tactically, that's how you want to have it set up. You don't want to jump ahead with this type of thing. You just want to get started, get the first eight done, um, and just be disciplined about it. And when you do that, I promise you, in one year from now, like, you can come back to this and be like, man, like I really committed to that, and it worked. And I've never, like, in, in the history of me consulting with coaches, I've never seen any coach who is, like, failed with what I'm talking about. Like, as long as they do it. As long as they do it, all right? No one has ever failed like with sending emails or not getting more clients or not getting kids signed up for clinics and camps. Like it's going to work, but you have to put in the work. Hey coach, thanks for listening to our show today. If you enjoyed the content, I'd really appreciate it if you would leave us a five-star review here on iTunes. If you want to attract more committed clients, generate more income and create more freedom in your life, You'll want to check out our Inner Circle Mastermind. This exclusive group is reserved for coaches who want to build and scale a dominant sports training business. To learn more about the Inner Circle program, simply head over to our website at www.buildmysportsbiz.com. Thanks again for listening. I'll catch you later.